Ken Eggleston, who is our VP of Business Development and wears many other hats here in Opinia. So uh, we're excited to be here with you. Uh, we hope that you're going to be excited to get uh, a little business building training because uh, that's what both Ken and I have spent most of our lives doing. And so we want to pass some pros on to you and some strategies that uh, specifically uh, reflect how one would build a very effective Infinii business. Uh, so Ken, uh, you can hear me loud and clear, I suspect? Yep, all sounds good, John. Right on, you can see my screen okay. Yep. So we've got, a, we've got a new deck that we're going to roll some details out for you. A few pieces that, again, is, as individuals that spent many, many years on the building side of things, on, on your side of the fence, um, we can relate very much to not only the excitement that Infinii is generating, but some very unique uh, positions that one can take in building an effective Infinii business. And, and you know, I've seen, uh, I've seen individuals, both individuals with absolutely no prior experience in network marketing and then individuals with uh, a, a ton of experience uh, in team building, very successful team building, uh, those types of individuals all around the world are being drawn to Infinii uh, for some of the very specific reasons, uh, probably the same reasons that, uh, that you are, uh, whom, whomever you may be listening in, uh, because of the fact that we have two, such two totally diff different and very unique, uh, but also very specific ways to earn, not only with an incredibly dynamic rewards plan that, that uh, Ken and uh, Hitesh built uh, together, uh, but also a product that has the ability by itself without any recruiting whatsoever, if that's something that doesn't normally come easily to you, that's exactly why uh, we're presenting this information to you, but if that's something that doesn't come easy to you, uh, we are ex we're really, really happy that uh, you're going to be able to or could effectively build a fantastic product-based business. And, and many of you will do just that and reach your financial goals simply by using our product offering. Ken, do you want to uh, add anything or share some thoughts in regards to this particular uh, unique situation that Infinio has? No, John, I, I believe you've covered most of it. The only thing I'd say is that I, I believe everybody recognizes that this is unlike anything else that's ever been presented to the industry before. For the first time in history, uh, we have a product that is globally recognized, um, tied in with uh, you know the e-commerce giants of Amazon, Alibaba, eBay, and everything else. So there's no more uh, of issues in the back of every network marketer's mind. Okay, is this product uh, going to pass FDA approval in the U.S.? Is it going to pass the Australian regulators? Is it going to pass the the EU or European regulators? You know, all of this e-commerce model is already globally accepted. All we have to do is really open it up uh, and have the full network marketing community recognize that for the first time ever, there's a product that you don't have to talk anybody out of using what they're using and promote this at the same time. It's the greatest win-win that's ever been presented. And, you know, John, as we always talk about, it's on a you know, one-to-one -one point to dollar ratio with a 70% payout to the field. And, you know, we've always talked about the difference in, in how this compensation plan pays out to the reality of the vast number of network marketing companies where even when they say they pay 50% of commissional BV to the field, the field oftentimes doesn't recognize that that's minus before they split the 50 with 50 BV or 50% of the BV with the field, they first deduct the COGS or cost of goods, which are usually anywhere from a conservative 15 cents to 25 cents on the dollar. So that means that the, you know when people think they're getting paid 50 cents on the dollar, the likelihood is they're getting paid anywhere between 30 to 41 cents uh, on the dollar actually being paid into the commission plan. Uh, and while that may sound a little strange to some of you, it's a big, big deal when you start to add up business volume, when you compare it to a one-to-one -one point to dollar ratio that we have here in Infinii. So it's just a huge opportunity and allows so much more money to be made on the commission side uh, than would normally be available inside any type of rewards plan. 
And you know, absolutely well said, Ken. And the thing is, what's really important is this sweet spot. I've heard you refer to this before. Is really director that director family where so many bonuses open up to the field. And what we're going to share with you over the next 40 minutes is absolutely an ironclad strategy that will help you get to director if that's one of your goals, and 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 of course beyond uh, if that's one of your goals within Infidei. We're also going to touch a little bit on the psychology of the build. Uh, if you've been involved in network marketing in the past, or if you're brand new to network marketing, but you're someone who may be sharing things with either people that are close to you, uh, the people that you care about, or total strangers, is something that just makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. First of all, I'll say I know exactly how you feel, because as I mentioned before, both Ken and I started in the field many years ago. And I remember going, going through that process where the, the phone felt like it weighed 50 pounds. And uh, had, I had a variety of tips and techniques and strategies I would use to motivate myself to pick it up. Well, those things are really not going to be necessary anymore. Any fear that you may be having in, in starting to build a business to push to direct to rank and beyond, we're going to show you why that you need to, uh, to let that go. It's not going to be relevant in this particular build. Uh, you're going to have, I think, probably an easier time than you've ever had in your history before if, if this is something that you've attempted before and haven't quite reached all of your financial goals. So Ken, does that relate to you at all? Do you remember way back upon a time where you were a little bit nervous talking to the first friends about the first project you started building? John, imagine this. When I first got introduced to the industry, um, I was uh, a commander um, in the 13th largest sheriff's department in the, in the United States. Uh, and in addition to that, was in the middle of going to law school. Uh, you know, most police officers, uh, you know, are not, uh, you know, great at what we would say sales. You know, we joke around all the time that, you know, if when you say no to a police officer, you know, usually our answer was handcuffs and a, and a trip to jail. Um, you know, so the dynamic of our parking bill. Yeah, the dynamic of switching. Uh, to learning that, okay, you know, the person who gets the most no's actually wins in the area of sales because it's a mathematical formula that if you ask enough people, the more no's you get, the, the equivalent is also the more yeses you get, and most people never uh, really realize that pattern. So I actually had the worst possible training for becoming successful in network marketing because I had no sales skills. It wasn't the way... Uh, the mindset operates within law enforcement. You're in a very rudimentary process uh, and, and a very black and white scenario of the way things operate. So, you know, what I love about this model, uh, John, is that, yeah, as you said, you don't have to have sales skills uh, with what's being set up here and even individuals that aren't comfortable because only 10% of the world's population is really comfortable in, in what we would call a sales person's uh, aggressive personality going out there making the contacts because by and large people are just not comfortable with being told no and that's the beauty John that, that, that sets us apart from anything else there's no other network marketing model that you can actually generate a six-figure income without uh, you know sponsoring other partners in here so the e-commerce side offers us the ability to have everyone uh, profit and and really build sustainable long-term livable incomes that aren't like an up and down roller coaster but instead allows the e-commerce to be the platform or should we say the cement foundation and then once you're comfortable with that all you have to do is go ahead and then take that next step into introducing other people to it and they're already doing it. I mean, the, the questions that I've found to be the simplest, John, are the ones you and I discussed, which is, you know, I'll talk to somebody and say, hey, you know, you ever uh, purchase anything from Amazon or eBay or Alibaba? And, you know, 90% of the time they come back, well, yeah, of course. I say, when's the last time they paid you, uh, you know, for utilizing their platform or for referring anyone else to utilize their platform? And I get this blank stare back on me if I'm on Skype or in person. And I go, what are you talking about? Well, you know, would you like to see a way that you actually can be paid for doing that? Well, of course I would. Boom. 
send them over the Uber video and uh, and just walk forward in the in the platform. And I can't wait till the new marketing piece that uh, you know our chief marketing officer uh, Kevin Hokawana and yourself have been working on you know to roll out that marketing system as well as the additional videos, John, which are getting ready to roll out too. You know, everything that uh, is being designed is being designed to get our members to director and beyond. So why don't we slide right into the stuff, Ken, and we'll start walking them through the basics. One of the most important things to realize uh, in moving forward, if, if you're listening to this and you were attracted to Infinia because of the e-commerce foundation, that was something that seems very current to you, very uh, trendy to you and it was an instant attraction for you, you're certainly not alone. And for those of you who have multiple years of experience in network marketing and maybe uh, are looking to Infinii to finally free yourself, to finally hit that home run uh, financially with this particular platform and haven't really had the, the best success in, in the past, that same e-commerce foundation is one of the things that's going to help facilitate that success for you because there's a very, very significant difference, psychologically speaking, between sharing and selling. And Ken had just alluded to uh, statistically about, you know, one in ten of us are really comfortable, don't mind having someone uh, maybe tell us that we're off our rocker or that they're completely disinterested in what we're doing. And as a result, you can see that correlation, that 10% of individuals that make money in network marketing, and of course the individuals that are really uncomfortable uh, receiving that rejection typically struggle to, let's say, to reach their, their loftier goals. Well, in this particular case, because we're talking about an industry that's so on trend, in fact, such a massive trend, and if you've been listening to Ken's webinars on Tuesday, you know that 1.67 trillion dollars in 2015 globally, what you may not know is that only represented between one and a half and two percent of retail transactions globally. So as we start to see more and more momentum continue to grow globally with e-commerce, of course, that number is going to push closer to 3.5 trillion that you see in our, in our presentation and then beyond. And so when something is trending as significantly as this is, uh, it's a part of conversations that are happening so often. I'm seeing television commercials that are being uh, shown for the first time on television now that aren't promoting phys physical locations. And it seems very strange to me because I grew up in a retail environment. My parents own retail businesses. And I'm still seeing retail type commercials, but these stores have no location in a shopping mall. They have no fixed address. They, they're, they're all online. So. Uh, let's dive right into this material because we've got an awful lot to cover. Uh, one of the first things you need to understand, if you were drawn to Infinii initially because of the e-commerce side of things and are having results there, first of all, congratulations to you. But secondly, um, you know, the network marketing platform, is there really is nothing else like it. And I'll be keen to get your thoughts on this, Ken. You know, once I finally understood this concept of leverage, it became very addictive to me, and and hopefully, you know, well, it's been a very healthy financial addiction um, compared to many others I could have had. Uh, this idea of doing something once and then getting paid for it multiple times, I was just drawn to like a moth to flame. In the same way, you know, sometimes if you're working on a project or you're building something or you're doing something for work and it gets lost or your computer uh, crashes on you and you have to start all over again, it's the most painful experience in the world because you, you've done the work already, you get no benefit for the work, and now you've got to start the whole process again. Well, this building a leverage-based business in network marketing is the exact opposite. It's, it's, it's none of the pain, and it's all of the joy. Uh, Ken, do you want to speak to that just for a minute while I move to the next slide? Yeah, absolutely, John. I mean, you know, as some of you that, uh, that have known a little bit about my story, um, I entered network marketing merely to try and make a little bit more income. Uh, you know, hopefully an extra five hundred dollars uh, a month was what I was thinking because I I had no mindset of ever doing this uh, and moving to this career because I was already a hundred percent vested in a law enforcement career career as well as moving through law school. You know, you don't start law school and take on a hundred thousand dollar student loan for that. 
you know, in order to go ahead and then build a network marketing business. But it was once I got introduced to it, John, and and I actually the light bulb went on about leveraging a team. And I remember when I when the light bulb first went on for me was when I was sitting there and looking how a broker, a real estate broker, has all kinds of real estate agents working for them. And and you've got that leverage component inside real estate because I was into investing into real estate uh, early on. I was I was out there, you know, getting duplexes and foreclosure and trying to you know do that. And on my weekends, you know, was you know up on a roof uh, repairing it or repainting a side. So I understood the leveraging of income through the real estate model, but I didn't get it on the network marketing side. So when that light bulb went on, and then I recognized that okay, the work you're doing today is going to pay you 90 days from now substantially. And that model began to resonate inside me and then I started researching it. Within 18 months, John, I knew that I was leaving uh, both law, you know, a profession of law behind as well as my law enforcement career. And as you know, I retired early. Uh, I left, uh, you know, at the time I was a colonel of law enforcement, I was second in command of the department, and, you know, I walked away from that profession. Last year I was uh, with the department, I oversaw a budget of $350 million and 6,000 employees, and, you know, I just looked at it, I was like, you know, I, I see that all we're going to do is just continue to work 70 hours a week, and the real leverage is in building this business from the laptop wherever we want in the world. And, you know, as excited as I was at that time, John, uh, the idea of an e-commerce model, which didn't exist at, at uh, you know, anything like today, would, I mean, it, it literally makes me lose sleep at night, and that's where we are at. Absolutely, Ken. And, you know, just to use that real estate example, uh, sometimes, you know, you've got friends, that, and many of us, probably all of us have friends that are in real estate at some degree, and some of the more aggressive agents, often what they'll do is they'll open their own office, and they'll bring on other real estate agents that work in conjunction with them. And this is a great example uh, uh, in regards to leverage, because those agents, those really proactive agents that take the lead and train some others, where they're really profiting, where, where they're leveraging themselves, isn't in the selling of property. It's in the extended sales they're going to come from actually teaching everything they know to another or two or three or four or five agents. So in a sense they've replicated their skill set that now goes out into that city and finds other listings and makes other sales and of course they're getting a piece of that. And that's exactly the same way network marketing works and that's exactly the same thing that Ken really uh, uh, got a vision of that pulled him away from a course that he was on where he obviously had committed a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a lot of money. And I was in exactly the same boat. I was a commercial photographer. I was the most expensive photographer in, in the city I was in. I worked really, really hard to develop my craft. And uh, I remember asking my father, because I was a young, young fellow at the time, what network marketing was. And I think that he figured that I was probably having a look. He knew that I had six years into my own business. I had passed that critical five-year sort of make it or, or don't period of time, and he would think I was an absolute lunatic for doing anything other than what I was doing after being able to pass that five that critical five-year period. And so his definition for network marketing to me, I'll never remember or I'll never forget it. Uh, he said network marketing is a business for people who don't have enough money to start a real business. And he was really serious. I think it's funny. But he was really serious, and, and of course, the more that I sort of investigated this leverage situation that Ken talks of, the more hooked I became on the idea. So initially for me it was, let's not disappoint my family, let's not destroy what took many years to build, let's work on the side. But it was literally, it was six months, very, very part-time, to match what I was netting from my retail business, and uh, within 18 months of starting, I was making every month what my studio was paying me every year. And there's a hey, lot of John, stories like that. Go ahead, Ken. Uh, you know what's funny is that um, within real estate, I'm not sure if uh, this real estate company called Keller Williams operates in Canada, 
but they started here in the U.S. I'd say, I don't know when they started, but I, I really started to see them have a presence growing over the course of the last seven years. And they are now a real estate company that took the network marketing model and now has other realtors. If you recruit a realtor in and they become a realtor for network or for Keller Williams, they actually then earn a small piece of the commissions that on every house that they then sell. Mm -hmm. So this leverage model, John, is, you know, it's now bleeding into every area of uh, you know the economic um, formula and the whole uh, you know relationship marketing model is being utilized by Fortune 500 companies and everybody else. So it's not a question of you know if it's being used. It absolutely is. It's only a question of if the individual out there wants to prosper from it. Indeed. And what's most important for those of you, and again, if you're in the 90% and you're a little apprehensive at the idea of selling anything to anyone, friend or stranger, it's very important that you understand that the magic of leverage doesn't happen from selling things. So when you're selling something, it's no different than being in your job. You're, tra you're trading a unit of your time for a unit of pay. Whether that unit of pay is worth $10 an hour or $50 an hour, it's very difficult to reach your financial goals to create true freedom for yourself, because true, true, true freedom isn't just financial. The freedom Ken and I were looking for it was time freedom as well. And so trading all of my hours for 20 or 30 or 40 or $50 an hour may give me the ability to pay some bills, may be given the ability to buy a sports car, may pay my mortgage off a little bit earlier. It's not really going to give us the quality of life that I know everyone in this call is looking for. True leverage is generated from teaching things. And this is why you'll often hear leaders talk about really simple business models, simple systems. It's because a simple system is easier to teach than a complicated system. So if you can internalize a very simple model very quickly, then others can internalize it as well. And that's where the leverage begins. So it doesn't come from selling items. It doesn't come from selling supplements. It doesn't come from selling shakes. It doesn't come from selling skincare. That's only trading time for money. It's no different than getting a second job. And there's a lot of people in network marketing who really misunderstand this concept. It's important for you, first of all, to get that uh, in just getting started and realizing teaching a simple model, the model we're going to share with you right now, to others is how you're going to get to director and beyond. Okay, so let's have a look at the problem. First of all, uh, leverage is only available to distributors, of course, because the distributors are participating in the rewards plan, not to the customers. The customer, and we'll also include the part-time business builder, and this is the 90% we often refer to that has a tough time with the sales, that has a tough time promoting people into a program, can rarely take advantage of network marketing's most significant feature, and that's leveraging a team because they don't have an easy time building a team. Our solution, uh, Infinii offers the only model in the world today that extends this extremely powerful concept to all participants. And the way we're doing it, of course, is we, we have, well, we'll talk about that in a moment, but we have a real opportunity for beginners and customers uh, to innovate within this double leverage system. And we're going to dive right into the specifics of what that is. Just so you know, the double leverage system is, first of all, our e-commerce model and and secondly, the rewards plan that Ken was talking about a moment ago that's so incredibly dynamic. So if we, do, if we discuss uh, the e-commerce model first, uh, maybe Ken, do you want to just talk to this and some of, the, some of the things that you've seen since you were first introduced to Jason, Hitesh, and Kevin? You, you know, John, I, I remember when, uh, you know, I was watching Hitesh and, and Kevin um, really begin to develop the, the pilot company that we know as DSD, which was their first segue into the marketplace of e-commerce because Hitesh had been obviously one of the best known affiliate marketers uh, and had, had sold just millions upon millions of dollars in that realm. And when they put together the DSD model, John, you know, I didn't get it at first. Uh, you know, I wasn't one of these, uh, you know, online individuals. I was old school network marketing, you know, hotels and, and doing everything that way. And, and 
when Hitesh, when I saw the success number one of the DSD model, and for those of you that are new to Infinii, that was DS domination, which Infinii has always been the umbrella company, the, the overhead one, but the first pilot program they launched under the Infinii umbrella was this uh, you know, DS domination component. After proving that out over two years' time, uh, Hitesh then wanted to go ahead and take it to the next level, which could only be accomplished in his mind, and I and John, you, you and I both 100% agree with this when, when we uh, went over this in detail uh, with Hitesh and Kevin, and of course Jason, was to attach the most rapidly growing uh, formula for relationship marketing to this, which is a network marketing model. And by doing that, we've now seen adopters coming into this that have a, a network marketing background that, that just see this as the greatest thing that, that could ever be put in front of them. So when you, when you think about that leverage component and building this structure out, don't get hung up on, on any difficulties here because it's as easy as what I was talking about before, uh, you know, about simply asking does somebody use the, you know, eBay or Amazon or Alibaba. And, you know, when you think about Google, Amazon, and eBay actually fulfilling all of the, you know, processing of payments on the e-commerce side, the delivering of the products, the customer support, and having this Infinii platform, and folks, you haven't seen anything yet. I mean, John and I see behind the scenes of the amount of work that's being done, you know, by the team, by the programmers, by Hitesh, and, and I do think we need to note that, you know, even with the challenges uh, that Hitesh has faced within his, his family, um, you know, with, with having a, a a child that's been facing some significant medical challenges, um, and, and some of you may not know about that, but this man, this leader, this visionary of our company uh, has dedicated himself not only for his family, but for all of our families, and he has worked through this process with the support from his loved ones because this is a vision so much bigger than anything that I've ever seen before. Remember, most network marketing companies they come up with a compensation plan and then say, okay, what product can we attach to it to sell it? This was completely different. This product is proven. There's no question that e-commerce is taking over the world. There's no question that it is the, the fastest and strongest economic force going. And so the model is already there. The mechanisms and the platforms that Hitesh has, has built for us with the programming team that's being rolled out here and the changes that, that we're going to continue to see inside the Infinity platform uh, are just absolutely amazing. They truly are. And, you know, to have the empowerment of all of this coming together for us uh, is, is something which to me is, is unprecedented. So uh, I would ask that you, uh, you keep Hitesh individually in your prayers just from the standpoint that uh, he is such an amazing individual and everything that he's doing for all of us, uh, you know, I, I'm, I've never seen a leader or a, a visionary head of a company ever do this before. And John, I didn't mean to go off on a little bit of tangent there, but this is just so incredible that, uh, you know, and I know the amount of work you're, you're on with Atesh every single night going through the development of the new website that's getting ready to roll out on the 10th, as well as the, the you know, video number two and all the other pieces. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 don't, I have a chance to sleep. I don't know how he, how he does what he does, but this is our fearless leader, and we're very, very grateful uh, to have him in the position that he is. So, uh, and that wasn't uh, that was a worthy tangent, Ken. So, uh, yeah, no need to apologize. Uh, so, let's get into this leverage specifically. And Ken touched on it when he was uh, sharing his story of uh, this story of how he was exposed to and the origins of Infinii, which is a very exciting story and you're going to learn a lot more about it when you come down to our grand opening uh, uh, convention and you'll see more details about that coming up very soon. The leverage that we talked about, this double leverage model, the first of all of course is leveraging these giants, uh, eBay, Amazon and Google, absolutely enormous e-commerce, global e-commerce giants and the four points that are uh, on the screen in front of you 
actually finding customers for you. So uh, the, the founders of the company built this model, designed this model to leverage these companies. That was part of the master plan, to let them find customers for you, to let them process payments for you, to let them deliver products for you, and let them support your customers for you. It, it really is a remarkable model. And then likewise, the double leverage comes in when we start implementing the rewards plan that Ken brought to the table. And this, this partner's leverage from building this plan is nothing short of remarkable. It, it's, uh, it's the most dynamic uh, rewards plan I've ever seen, and I'm not allowed to build it. Uh, I don't know what to think about that, but I get to help you build it. So the most important thing that you need to understand is where this double leverage really starts to amplify for you is as you start to share this, regardless of whether someone's interested in being involved in the rewards plan or simply using these platforms to make an extra $500,000, $2,000 a month or more from a part-time effort in front of their own laptop, you get to benefit from all of it. So whether it's e-commerce sales that they're generating, a percentage of the retail sales are moving through the rewards plan. So you're getting paid on the customer activities. In addition to that, of course, they're also spending on Prime Surge or Excel, one of our three platforms, dollar for dollar, that's also going into your rewards plan. But then on top of all of that, of course, you get to benefit from the leverage growth as those individuals who come on as partners also bring um, friends and family and associates onto the program with them as well. So it's really the integration of this rewards plan with all of the e-commerce activity and allowing Google, Amazon, and eBay to do all the things they do to facilitate that e-commerce success that allows us to offer something that is really dynamic and, and neither of us have seen anything like this in the industry in the 20 years we've been a part of it. So let's get into some specifics. And it really is as simple as one, two, three. Uh, one of the things that both Ken and I would strongly encourage you to do, if you've never been involved in a, in a pre-launch before, a company is only in pre-launch once. And for a company that really ticks all the boxes and is really resonating with people, so in other words, a company that's really going to run, going to grow, that pre-launch period is especially important. And again, you only have one one opportunity to be part of that. Fortunately for all of you on this call, you're part of Infinii during pre-launch. There's many, many people. I'll tell you, our top income earner in Infinii five years from now has probably never heard of the company yet. There are some very strategic advantages that you have right now. And one of the things that I would strongly encourage you to do is exploit that to the maximum by making sure that, that the people that matter to you hear about Infinii from you and not someone down the street. So with that, though, our getting started actually involves product and business. So let's just run through this really quickly. Is there anything you wanted to discuss or to share in, in that point before I start reading these lists again? No, John, you're, you're right on the spot. Okay. So as far as using the product is concerned, obviously you've got training videos to watch and you want to start at Prime. Prime videos, you want to start at the international videos if you live outside of the U.S. And, of course, start right at the beginning, eBay and Amazon if you live within the U.S., uh, you want to set up all your accounts. When I say all your accounts, that means, of course, your not only your e-commerce accounts and, and your accounts within eBay and Amazon, but also your PayPal accounts so you can get paid from your e-commerce activity. You want to make sure you register for the first master class, and then you want to make sure that you set an e-commerce goal. Now, maybe you only have 30 minutes. Maybe you only have uh, an hour a day. Maybe you have less than that. So make sure your goals are appropriate based on the amount of time that you can commit. Uh, set yourself up for success and not failure. I mean, it's, it's your life, right? You get, to, you get to set the rules of the game. Second thing you want to do, though, is you want to take advantage of our pre-launch period by making a list of people that you know that have an affinity or an interest or a use of e-commerce. And then, of course, friends that love the business side of things or could use a little extra cash in their life. You want to learn the three questions that Ken has already been discussing. And then you also want to set a goal of rewards plan earnings, so product profits, compensation pro profits. And then the third thing you want to do is you want to internalize the information that we're going to share with you on the next slide. There's a very simple flowchart that's going to make this really easy for you to follow. 
So the first thing, of course, is you need to download presentations. We have PDFs for you. We also have PowerPoint show versions for you. So if you want your whole screen to light up with all the animations, well, we've got a, a, a locked PowerPoint show version for you of our detailed rewards plan and our opportunity presentation. Or we have a PDF if you prefer to use your phone or you prefer to print something out or you use your tablet if you just want to flip through those things. There's PDFs and everything as well. Second, you want to take advantage of the webinars that are happening weekly and calls. We have a whole series of calls that are going to be rolling out. We have a podcast that's going to be rolling out for you where we start to interview uh, many, there's, there's many thousand success stories within the e-commerce arena and we're seeing an incredible uh, global list of uh, profiters, benef benefactors from the rewards plan happening all around the world as well. We're going to start rolling out calls. Um, where you have an opportunity to meet these individuals firsthand and learn tips from each one of them as to how they reach director in, in, in their first month or a record period of time or how they manage to get $500 sales within their first week of, uh, of their eBay account opening. Uh, so you'll have opportunities not only to listen to us but also listen to those in the field that started just like you did and are generating results creating the success that you want to create for yourself. And the last thing, of course, you want to do is use the three videos that Ken was referencing all the time. Video number one, the uh, the, the thirty thousand foot view. Welcome to Infinii. Of course, video number two is getting to know Infinii a little bit better, understanding what Prime Surge and Excel are. That is going to be released at the same time our new site is going to be released. And then video number three is basically going to be teaching you how you can profit with Infinii, the Infinii lifestyle. So. The third step, of course, make sure you're setting your goals for your rank advancement. So setting my e-commerce profits, setting my reward plans, goals, earnings, and also making sure I set goals for my rank within 90 days. Now notice I didn't put make sure you hit director in 90 days because while the $10,000 elevation bonus plus the 90-day $10,000 bonus is certainly something worth, uh, worth aspiring to, not everyone has that as their first 90-day goal. So you set the goal that's appropriate for you. Just make sure that if you really do want some success with the program, that you extend yourself a little bit. Your goals need to hurt a little bit. They need to make you a little, a little bit nervous because this way you know you're going to push yourself. Anything you want to share in that regard, Ken? Nope, we're good. All right. So let's walk through this flow chart. Uh, like I said before, this is a three-step process. This is this visual process, that you, or this written listed process you see here, here's the visual version of that. So here's our starting point. Now step number one, we talked about registering for a uh, master class and taking our training videos. Step number two, we're assembling a list of friends that love to shop, uh, love to make money, okay? And we are going to share two scripts with you. Uh, Ken has already shared sort of the foundation of the first one, the three question script. Uh, and by the way, these scripts are going to take all the guesswork out of building a successful business. They're very short, they vary to the point, but they're very effective. Step number three, decide what tools you're going to use. You've got three videos. We said we have a three video option and all of these are going to be on your own um, replicated website. So infinia.com forward slash your username. That's step three. Or you can use the, like, uh, the live weekly webinar or you can use the calls or you can use any number of, of, uh, of pieces. Of course, you can also do presentations yourself, but this is you letting the tools do the work for you in these two examples. Now, as a result, you're either going to get, I love the information I'm seeing, please help me get involved, or you're going to get, no, thank you, but thank you very much for thinking of me. Now, if I get no's, or when I got no's off in the field, I would often ask my friends, do you mind if I reconnect with you in 90 days to let you know how I'm doing? And you know what? I would never get a no to that, ever. And so for, for an industry like this where your list is your business because your list is your precursor to all team growth, uh, making sure that you're in regular contact and using a really simple system so it doesn't feel like work is so critically important. And then finally, of course, whoever that new individual is, you simply want to repeat the process. And that's why this has been basically boiled down to the most simple steps because A, it's very easy for you to do, and then B, it's very easy for you to teach. And by definition, that's where your leverage is going to come from. Uh, Ken, is there anything you want to share in, in regards to this formula? No, John, I think, you know, what, what I love about this is it's straightforward and it's simple. 
and uh, you know if people just simply follow the step one two three and with the system that you know the, the video system you're putting together which I would argue is some of the finest videos I've ever seen within the industry as well as uh, you know our, our chief marketing officer and co-founder Kevin Hopewano with, with the marketing platform that that he's working on that you've given insight into. I just think we're ready to you know we're kind of ready to take this off on rocket fuel. Yeah, you know what's really great too is that uh, although you know people listening to this call are not aware of this yet, the the cold marketing system and of course your your when we talk about cold marketing we're obviously referring to people that you don't know, if we refer to your friends as a warm market, warm market is friends, family, and associates. It's everybody that you know on a first name basis. Cold marketing is everyone that you don't know. And, and Kevin has so much experience, really elite experience at building these cold marketing systems. We're assembling tools like the three videos that Ken was just mentioning. We're assembling these things so that they're going to work for you if you choose to use a warm marketing model or if you choose to use a cold marketing model. And I, for one, would certainly encourage you to do both. So let's get on to these two scripts. We'll do a little bit of a role play. And uh, I'll tell you, Ken, let's say I'm going to role play with you. If you don't mind reading the, 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 the stuff that's in the responses in red, um, with the exception of the second line, uh, then uh, and you be listen. You be as friendly to me, or as you be as difficult as you like. It's not a concern at all. Okay. So in this particular case, Ken, your name is no longer Ken. It's Peter. So I'm going to give you a phone call. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, is this Peter? It is, man. John, this you? It is. It is. Yeah. How are things going? Have, have I caught you at a bad time? No, man, just just busy as always. What do you need? Well, listen, I, I need a small favor. I need about five minutes for a small favor. I, I need your feedback on a really short video. It's like a three, two or three minute video. Would you be able to watch that for me and have me call you back in five minutes to see what you think? Yeah, w what's it about? Well, it's, an, it's, an, it's a new program. It's an e-commerce program that I'm engaged in right now. Have you, by chance, have you ever used Amazon or eBay or, or uh, Bonanza in the past? I have, and unfortunately, uh, the wife uses it too much. <laughs> I'll be interested in seeing this. What, uh, you know, I'll be particularly interested in your feedback then. And like I said, I think it's the two and a half minutes long. You don't have to leave the front of your computer. I'm going to call you back in five right away while it's still fresh in your mind. Sure, brother. Shoot it over. So I'll send there's the second link. I will send that, that link over. I'll call back five minutes later. And I'll simply ask, again, I'm making this as easy for the person, not only sharing the script, and as easy for me as possible, but also as easy for Ken as possible. So the next line I would use is, was there anything in that video that stood out for you? Was there anything that, that, that caught your eye? Was there, was there anything you liked? Yeah, and I mean, John, they're obviously going to say, well, you know, I didn't realize Uber and, and all these other things were as prominent as they were, yeah, this, uh, I'm intrigued. Oh, that's very cool. Well, listen, I've got another two and a half minute video. If you don't mind, I'd like to send it to you as well and also phone back and get some feedback from that one. Yeah, no, I, I'm open to looking at it. Um, let me ask you a question. What's, what's, the underlying, what's the underlying issue here or thing? Because, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm clearly seeing something which is interesting. What yeah. is this about? Well, you know, what it is, Ken, is um, it's a program I was exposed to a little while ago that has the ability to leverage eBay, Amazon, or Bonanza and turn them into money generators and not just places for us to spend money. And, you know, I'm not sure about you, and I certainly don't want to put words in your mouth, but for me, um, I actually wanted to generate an additional income source, maybe to, to uh, shave a few years off my retirement date or add a few bucks at the end of the month. And this was something I was exposed to that I thought looked like something I could, I could manage, uh, you know, spending a little bit of time in front of my computer. So I was really intrigued. And I'm just going through the process now where I'm learning more about it. And I thought, well, what better way for me to, to go through that process than call a few of my friends and get their feedback at the same time? John, I tell you what, man, if any way to add any dollars to the month, uh, I'm all for it. So, uh, yeah, I'll definitely check it out. 
So in this case, we would uh, and cut. <laughs> in this case, we would just continue that process uh, until they've had an app opportunity to all see all three of those videos. And I'll tell you what's going to happen. And I've used this in the field myself. Um, if the feed, if the videos are strong enough, if they send a compelling message, and if the process doesn't feel like more of a burden than the benefit, and that's certainly not going to happen here, you'll actually have people saying, listen, I want to get started with this. You're not even going to have to try to close them yourself, which for many of you who are sales or uncomfortable is going to be absolute music to your ears. Now, uh, even if Ken was chose to be a little bit adversarial, uh, this script is so uh, innocuous, it's so user friendly that it doesn't matter. Um, if he was saying, "Well, I really don't have, you know, send me the link now, and and I'll get to it later," the the advice I would give you is you don't send the link, and you say to someone, "Well, listen, I'll call you back when you have more time, or 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 when you're in a better mood, or whatever the case may be." and I'll send it to you then because I want to talk with you five minutes after. The whole process, and I'm just going to share a little psychology with you now. One of the biggest fearful conditions that many people have about network marketing is they don't want to be a burden. They don't want to be a bother. And I certainly fell into that category. I'm not sure if that resonates for you as too. It probably did, Ken. And when you give away control of a scenario like you would be giving away control if you sent, if I sent the link to Peter and he said I'll get to it later on and get back to you, now it's on Peter to get back to me. I'm no longer driving the bus. Peter is. So now what happens if I don't hear from Peter in a day? I call him and he says, oh darn it John, I'm really sorry. I meant to watch that and I just haven't had a chance. I say, oh dude, don't worry about it. And then I call him a day later because I don't hear from him and I'm turning into that nagging burden that I did not want to become because I gave control of a situation away that I really didn't need to give control of away. Does that make sense? It's very, very simple if you do this right. And it becomes <laughs> very burdensome if you don't. Uh, so we've got one other script we want to share with you. And, and, and again, Ken has already used this earlier in the conversation. This again is really powerful. Uh, and that's basically asking a question that's always going to get a yes answer. And that is, have you or any of your friends ever bought anything on eBay or Amazon? Or Amazon or eBay, I guess it, 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 it reads. And the answer to that, because you've included your friends, is always going to be yes. Someone that I know has bought something on, on Amazon or eBay. Question two, did using Amazon, eBay, or Bonanza save you, uh, save you or them any time or money? And this is our first opportunity to bring up this, this concept of saving time or leveraging time and money together, not just one or the other. And again, the answer is going to be yes. And then third, would you like to learn or would you like to know how I turned these e-commerce giants into an extra income? See, I don't even read the questions right. It's still going to work. Uh, how I turned these into an extra income source. And you're going to get an awful lot of individuals saying yes to question three, even though question three is putting them on the spot. Ken, do you have anything you want to add to this before we go through the details? No, that's perfect. Okay. So let's get into the science of using this stuff. Now, what is going to surprise many of you is point number one, your goal. Your goal is actually a yes or a no as quickly as possible, and it doesn't matter whether it's a yes, it doesn't matter if it's a no. This probably sounds maybe a little different than, than something you, you may have heard in the past. The bottom line, though, is this. Remember, a simple system is easier to teach, is easier to use than a complicated system. So if I can get a yes or a no in five, well, in five minutes or ten minutes, I've avoided some of the biggest pitfalls that people fall into in network marketing. They fall into that sales role where they feel like they're a burden or they're bothering. I would love to get a no nine times out of ten if it only took ten minutes. Because that means if I re reached out to ten people, I was going to get one yes an hour. Well, one yes an hour, that's a mathematical formula that guarantees success. I'm happy with that. So um, make sure you understand you want to get that yes or no quickly. Don't give control away. Um, and, it's, and it's not difficult to not give control away. Point number two, let the Infinii tools do most of the work for you. Either use the webinar presentation or the three videos. 
point number three, by the time your prospect has finished the third video or finished a webinar, they will usually know whether they're going to get involved or not. If they ask for additional details, get help from an upline person or simply get them what they're asking for. And then ultimately, point four, remember you only need two friends to qualify for the, for the dual team and to start unleashing everything within your business. Yeah. Anything you want to add to those four points, Ken? Yeah, you know, one of the things that's so funny and it was hard for me to understand when I first got started in this industry was that, you know, my friends and family or my warm market many times, you know, they look at you in a different way than they do with third party, uh, which is here we refer to as your upline. And I was amazed because I remember when, uh, you know, the, the gentleman who was my mentor in this industry, he told me, Ken, you know, put me on the phone, uh, you know, with people, uh, you know, as you're introducing to this. And I was like, well, why? You know, I know them. I'm going to deal with them and everything else. He said, because you're going to find that they'll listen to a stranger more than they will you. And I said, there's no way. Uh, I'm going to put you on the phone with them. They've never met you before, and you think they're actually going to listen to you? And darned if he wasn't absolutely right, because, you know, it, you know, if it's a family member, if it's another person that you've known through work, they only look at you within that confine. They don't look at you as an entrepreneur. But when you put them on the phone with a third person, and if you have done the proper uh, introduction, and that's the key when you're introducing a person on the upline, you want to edify that person. You want to edify their success within the e-commerce world. You want to edify uh, their success within the network marketing arena if they have that. And it, the edification factor cannot be, you know, can really not be focused on hard enough here because I, I you know, people that at least do refer people over to the upline or put them on a three-way call, many times they'll say, hey, meet Frank. Um, Frank, w would you tell uh, you know my my brother John about the business or my friend Bill about the business? And they skip the entire edification process. That edification you know must be done. And you know so if you follow these two things, which is put your upline on the on the phone or on Skype call or Google Hangouts, but edify them as you're doing it, you'll see your sales go up significantly. Absolutely correct. So, you know, the most important thing here is, is this, this is a game. This, this is meant to be fun. And, and, and you simply need to let it be fun. So make sure that you set the rules for this game so that you're the winner. Because you have the power to do that. This is a really, really simple model. And if you take any kind of action, you're going to find individuals that are going to want to participate in the program. And the reason is, this is so trending. This is such a hot button conversation right now, this e-commerce movement and the trillions of dollars that are within this environment. Just by sharing that alone, you're going to find people that want to participate. The, the magic really happens when you get them leveraging. So, you know, when you have ultimately brought two people into your business, you've completed what I like to call a build phase. And, and you take a look at the line at the top that says, do first, teach second. So many people in network marketing skip right to the second part, which is teach. They, they'll do absolutely anything they possibly can to make themselves busy to avoid doing the things that scare them. And because this is so user friendly, I really want you to push through any sort of anxiety or fear that you would normally have. Let the tools do the heavy lifting for you. Follow that very simple flow chart that we had two slides back and put yourself in this build phase where you've successfully accomplished that. At that point, you can become a mentor and shift 100% of your focus. If you only have five hours a week to work on your business, I would want you to spend all five, well, four of the five hours finding, completing this build phase, finding these two individuals that are going to join your team. One of the five hours, you can also spend watching your training videos and starting to develop your e-commerce business. And remember why. Why four to one, as far as a ratio is concerned, you only get one pre-launch. We need to make sure that your team has a solid foundation during pre-launch. You're going to have all the time in the world, once your foundation is built, to go back and accelerate your e-commerce success. So step two is exactly what you would expect. It's teaching phase. Do first, 
teach second. Okay, I've broken these down into weeks because it's such a simple ask. Adding two friends to my business, I say to my two friends, listen, of all the people that you know that have used Amazon or eBay or Bonanza that are that uh, uh, like the idea of e-commerce, can you find two people who would also want to profit from e-commerce? You go, oh, I can find a hundred. Well, you only need two. I only want you to find two because I want you to make sure that you help them find two. You can add the 98 others after you're starting to see your team duplicate. So we're teaching the right process. And this, what this does is it takes the guesswork out of building a business. It makes your business success, your reaching director, believe it or not, it makes it a mathematical certainty as, a as, a, as opposed to just throwing the dice. And so if you follow this order properly, um, you're going to create results. So they now refer to friends, and so this is the support phase. This is actually the toughest part because you now have to rely on the two people that you brought to support the two people they signed into the business. You're there as a mentor to make sure the whole ship continues to sail in the right direction, but you don't want to usurp the two people, Sue and Mark, and make sure and take control of their, their team for them, you want to make sure they do those things because they're going to do as they're taught and likewise those individuals are going to support the people they brought into the business and so on and so forth. So you want to take a more of a manager role and this is where you're going to start to see some very significant growth. Believe it or not, the exponential growth of this very simple model after only six weeks is 126 people in your business. It, that's it's it's it, and regardless of whether you got involved in Prime or Surge or Excel, if you continue to extrapolate this model out, you will hit the 90-day director bonus. Ken, anything you want to share? No, John. I mean that's it, it's as simple as that. And if if you don't overcomplicate it, and a lot of times people overcomplicate things and they get themselves stuck, and you just simply have to do that process of, of, you know, the two who get two model. Now, uh, John, I know both you and I strongly recommend that, you know, people build an organization with a lot of width on the personal enrollment. So, you know, determine where you want to be and, you know, determine what your goals are. You know, one of the things I always remember uh, is that Olympians and others that are really focused on things, you know, their goals are in front of them every single day. Uh, you know, they're, they're posted on their bathroom mirrors so they see it when they wake up. Uh, a lot of people that are, are really focused and driving hard, they'll even put it on the reverse side of their, um, you know, the, the uh, what, do, what do you call a thing in the car, John, where you put it down, um, you know, to block the sun coming through the windshield? Oh, your visor. Yeah, the visor. I mean, they'll put it on the, the opposite side of the visor. You know, many times where we put pictures of loved ones or different things like that, you know, have the things there so that when you have a difficult day or, you know, keep the reason why you're doing things because I always tell people, man, look where you were five years ago, you know, and, you know, look where you are today. If you don't do something different, you already know where you're going to be five years from now. And with the uncertainties of the economy and, and uh, with all the issues that we see going on on a global economic basis right now, you know, folks, it, it's not even a question of plan B. People have to look at uh, and will look at an e-commerce model as plan A because none of them have the security that uh, they used to have. So this is critical. So, you know, this formula that John's laying out here, this is just a no-nonsense, simple, simple step process that when tied in and utilizing the entire platform guarantees that you're going to build a team. It's not a question of if it'll work. It's an absolute guarantee this process works. It's worked uh, you know, for years upon years and without a model like Infinii to, uh, to support it. So with the Infinii model, uh, this is a guarantee of success. The only question is, will you use it? And if you do, then we're going to be seeing you walk the stages uh, and collect a lot of checks. Thank you very much for your time and attention. We hope that you've gotten some value from this, and we certainly look forward to seeing you face-to-face -face at some point in the future.